Hey everybody. So yesterday I asked on my Facebook page what you guys wanted a tutorial on and the majority of you said you wanted a, a tutorial on the synth from Wakanda so that is what I'm going to do. Um, if you haven't seen the tutorial for the kick, the started kick, um, I, do, I posted that a, a couple of weeks ago so check that out, I'll link it in this video. Um, so it's quite a complicated, well, um, there's there's a lot of processing and things that, things that go on in this sim, so it might take a while. Uh, so start with a combinator as always, and then create a four. Make sure the patch is initialized, and then open up the programmer. And then we're going to use three oscillators. Uh, the first two are going to be multi. So leave it on saw. Um, you're going to want to bring the octave up to 5, the tune ever so slightly up to about 3, uh, leave it the detune mode at random 1, uh, turn the amount up to 39, and then we're going to create another multi oscillator, this time we're going to put it on this, I'm not actually sure what that waveform is, if anyone knows leave a comment. Um, I think it's a super square, I don't know. Um, so again, turn it up to octave 5, this time random 2, detune mode. And we're going to bring the tune down to minus 13 to widen the sound a bit more. Um, and we're going to turn the amount of detune up to 36 as well. And finally, we are going to add a noise oscillator. If you put it on static and then you're going to want to change this noise modulator right up to 127. Then, if you turn all three oscillators on so they all go into this filter, uh, leave it on low pass ladder type 2, but turn it all the way up, and then you're going to want to turn the res up to 22 as well. Um, and then we're going to turn the envelope all the way up and the velocity and this knob as well all the way up um, then if we go to filter 2 uh, create a state variable bandpass um, we're just going to use oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 rooted to this so turn them to on, those two buttons on and turn this button here so it actually goes to the amplifier and then for the frequency you're going to want it up to 3.8 kilohertz um, and the resonance up to 14 this just adds a bit more character let's see what it sounds like just now yeah I mean it, it's more noticeable later on when we've got you know EQs and stuff on um, okay so we've got the mixer we're going to the, uh, change the oscillator 1 and 2 balance down to 32 so oscillator 1 is coming through more and that is no actually we're going to bring the noise oscillator down quite a bit to yeah about minus 13 then we are going to turn the chorus on um, and you want to change the delay to 7.6 milliseconds the feedback at 0 the rate at 0 and the amount at 0 and then the, the, the dry wet amount you just want to bring down to 26 um, now we'll shape the sound of the envelopes so for the amp envelope you want the attack you know, just leave the attack where it is or you can bring it up slightly just to get rid of the initial clickiness uh, then the decay you're gonna want at 400 milliseconds, 464 milliseconds. Uh, the sustain you're gonna want all the way up, and the release you're gonna want at 72 or 77. That'll do. Um, so now we will use the filter envelope and. What we're going to do here is turn the attack right down and just turn everything else right up. 
And the final thing we're going to do with the synth is I'm going to detune the first oscillator a bit more by go to the matrix and then go LFO1 destination oscillator 1 pitch and turn it up to 15 then if you go to the LFO you want the key sync on and you're going to want the rate at um up a bit 3.8 hertz and then we're going to change it to a sawtooth so if you listen now it's getting there well it needs some processing now um so if you create a m class equalizer uh turn the low cut on just to, I think it gets rid of every, every all the frequencies below 30 hertz, I think, or 40 hertz. Um, and then param 1 and param 2 we're going to use as well. If you turn param 1 down to 169 hertz, the gain you're going to want to bring down to minus 8.6 and leave the cue where it is. Then param two, bring it down to five, five hundred, five hundred and forty hertz. And um, the gain down to minus six point three, because all all the bass and sub in this track is coming from this, the distorted kick. So really, the synth is just it's more mids and highs. And you kind of want to cut out the lows, the muddy frequencies, because they're going to interfere with the kick drum, which is basically acting as the bass anyway. Um, so that's that for the first synth, uh, the first EQ rubber. And then I added a two-band EQ. I'm not sure why I used this EQ, but I did. Uh, you can use another M class if you want. Um, so if you turn frequency A up to 82. Um, the Q you're going to want at 18 and the gain you're going to want up at 24 and then if you turn on filter B you're going to turn up the frequency pretty much all the way up to about 120 and then Q you're going to bring right down and gain you're going to turn up slightly to about 10 so so it's getting there but it's still not very beefy I think it needs it needs a few more effects so if you create the beef BV512 recorder Turn it to equalize and then four band and chuck up the shift up to 63. So that's quite a nice sharp edge to it. Um, then we're going to compress it and then we'll start adding some time based effects. So if you go and add an M class equal, uh, compressor, turn the gain up slightly, uh, the threshold, going to want quite far down so minus 2.3 and the ratio is about there attack quite fast attack so about 19 milliseconds and the release about yeah, 205 and just touch up the output a little bit so about 1.9 will do so now we have a very dry sound Sounds quite like it, but it needs a lot of um, reverb. So I actually used, I think, three different reverbs here. Two of which are RV7, so we'll just, just have one for now. Put it onto gated algorithm. You're going to want the size at minus 41. Uh, decay you're going to want at minus 38 the 
damp you're going to want to bring up slightly to 47 and the dry wet down to 11 um, then I added a unison actually just to detune it and widen it a bit more leave the voices at 16 detune you're going to want to bring down ever so slightly to 38 and the dry wet to 14 and then add an RV7000 advanced reverb uh, if you click remote programmer um, turn on EQ enable uh, bring the decay down 18 the high frequency damp you're going to want up 36 and high EQ at 21 and the dry wet bring down to 30 ok so if you go and change the algorithm to arena bring down the size to 31 31.9 fusion leave up at 127 use the left delay at 200 milliseconds the right delay um, you're going to want at 200 as well that's 0 10, yeah, so let's leave this side and then if you go to the EQ you're going to want to cut out some of the lows and just boost about 5 decibels around 3 3000 hertz mark right there bring the key down a bit so what we should have now is the synth from Wakanda um, I added a sidechain compression to this but apart from that that's it so I have actually got some good news I am about 95 percent done with the new refill pack um, there is a possibility it will be released this week but it's probably more likely to be released at some point next week so keep your eyes peeled for that and I'll see you next time guys